Welcome to the course Network Analysis using Wireshark 3. Wireshark is the most popular network packet analyzer used for capturing and analyzing what's happening inside your network. It's a great free tool, and if you want to leverage this tool, you need to master its features. We will begin the journey in the course with section 1 by having a general introduction and overview to Wireshark. In section 2, we will shed the light on the interface as well as go into the details of each menu. In section 3, we will focus on the filters, the capture and the display filters. In section 4, we will discuss TCP in details and the OZI model. In section 5, we will discuss IP version 4 and 6 as well as ICMP version 4 and 6. In section 6, we will conclude the course with a deep dive on the most important application layer protocols such as HTTP, FTP, SMTP, DHCP, ARP, and SMTP. The target audience for this course is, of course, network administrators, system administrators, developers, security analysts, students, and teachers, and anyone who's interested in gaining a deep knowledge for Wireshark. There is no prior knowledge required. However, those who are familiar with previous versions of Wireshark will have an advantage. The course goal is to get you familiar with many of the features of Wireshark 3. You will learn how to capture many famous protocols and deep dive into the packet inspection of these protocols. You will learn how to troubleshoot network issues such as latency issues, duplicate acknowledgement issues, etc. You will understand and interpret famous network protocols in details. You will as well learn how Wireshark 3 is used for ethical hacking. All of this in real labs, hands-on practice. The requirements you need for this course is a modern operating system, a modern processor, a quite good amount of memory and storage, and of course, browser and an internet connection. Please note that active captures should be performed in your own lab or in an environment that you have full explicit permission to. Always make sure to sanitize your packet capture files as it may contain sensitive information that can be misused. Let's get started. 